introducing the Army's latest, the Lancaster Daimler Scout Car. This snappy two-seater will go almost anywhere. It takes to mud like a duck, but moves faster. With four-wheel drive and automatic gear change, it is the last word in armored luxury. For reconnoitering and directing operations, it is unexcelled. Its small size and turn of speed make it a difficult target. And with the hatch closed, it's proof against ordinary bullets. One way and another, it's a very useful addition to New Zealand's armored units. Even tanks get worn out. So when they have to go long distances, they now get carried. The tank transporter is a sizable truck fitted with a set of ramps. Made in sections that can be handled easily, the ramps are quickly assembled. When everything is ready, the tank approaches. This calls for good steering. Climbing onto the truck is no obstacle for the tank. The men are thankful for that. They would hate to have to lift it. Travelling pickerback fashion doesn't save much time. The tank is almost as fast. But it does save the tank and it's easier for the crew. Both arrive close to the scene of operations, fresh for action. Unloading doesn't take long. The ramps are set up with the same ease and speed and in a matter of minutes the tank is coming down from its mothership. The tank is made for rough going, but it will go further and run better after its ride. Its treads will be firmer and its engine cooler, and the crew will be fitter also. A steadier eye will look down the gun sight. Kaitaia was a typical country town until a whirlwind hit it. In two minutes it was changed. Roaring in from the sea, this terror-striking wind cut through the centre of the town, ripping apart every building in its way then out into the country. This was a new farmhouse. This its chimney. But it was the town that had suffered. No blitz by Hitler could have destroyed so much in so short a time. Garages were smashed, shops torn open, their stock scattered, people injured and a boy killed. The people of Kaitaia were appalled. But help soon came. Local EPS, Home Guard and Army units jumped into action and others rushed in from outside. They cleared the streets and then tackled the rest of the town. The women's services were behind the men with meals for the workers. The government sent carpenters and tarpaulins. Battered roofing iron was collected for miles around and brought to a central depot. The worst kinks were hammered out and then the sheets were put through rollers. This restored their permanent wave and they were ready for use again. Shopkeepers looked at their shops. Their stocks had gone with the wind, but they'll get more. A tornado couldn't remove Mr. Churchill from his post, and the same goes for the people of Kaitaia. 